see how my brows look 3D right now. Hey kitties, welcome back to my channel, Cat Eye Glamour, our little hangout where we can be the most glamorous versions of ourselves. If you are new here, my name is Marilyn and I'm bringing you all things beauty, fashion, glamour, lifestyle, all that, all that, all that. All of that. Go ahead and subscribe, girl. You're going to love it. I promise you're going to love it here, okay? Okay, Katie. So we have a quick little or a small little Juvia's Place haul. I went on Juvia's uh, website with the intentions of only grabbing their new brow products. But I saw some other things that was cute or whatever, and I grabbed those too. All right, so I just want to show you guys what I got. And I also try to do some like a demo when it comes to the brow products because I'm really curious about it and I haven't used it yet I didn't put anything in my brows well I didn't put the um you know the Anastasia brow freeze I put that in there just to kind of hold them in place to make them look neat for the video but there's no coloring there's no pencils or anything so we can get to try it on camera and see how these brow products work if y'all know me I'm typically pretty cheap when it comes to brows like I don't like to spend a lot of money and um i was like you know let me try this it's not it's not super expensive but it's not like four or five dollars you know what i mean for the product like i'm used to okay let's go ahead and get into it all right so i have my little box here on my lap of the product so first let's start with um this i this was free because i purchased i don't know i think you had to purchase a certain amount of products or something from the new line i'm not sure i don't remember but this was free i remember that i did not pay for this it's the heroin glow by juvia's okay all right so i love the way it looks in the packaging so this is it here this is what i have all right so let's go ahead and open this up and see what it's about um juvia's place is normally very this is pretty big so this is it in the packaging See what she looks like when we take the top off okay there it is okay this is so cute this is kind of big for this look at this that is such a pretty looking highlight let's go ahead and swatch girl it's so smooth so this is it on my fingers you can see it there it is there and damn i have so much lotion under my nails sorry <laughs> you get it though um, let's go ahead and swatch it. Wow. This swatch is so smooth. Look at this. If it focuses, you guys will be able to catch it. This highlight is like so pretty. Oh my God, look at this. So this is free. I'm not sure what it costs normally, but I'll make sure that I link everything below for you. But this is really nice. The packaging is cute, but I feel like it's I feel like it's not necessary because look at it look at the little brick inside that's it i think like this could have been smaller but it's still really nice though the highlight is really nice it just it's going to take up a lot of space but that's cute and it was free we like that i like that okay so next up we have what's called the rebel honey and this is a um eyeshadow palette and i this really was on the side it looks so pretty and it's like right on time for like fall colors and you know fall makeup so that's why i got it so this is how cute it is look how cute the packaging is compact really cute let me open it up and see what that is perfect so nice so these are the colors and honey is a cute name for this but these are the colors these are such nice colors for fall i am going to be able to do so many pretty eye looks with this. Love this. So let me just swatch the color. So this, wow. More wow. I love these yellow mustard colors. I don't think I have any shadow colors like that. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Let me just try to do a little quick. Wow. Girl, stop. Look at this. I'm going to be doing some pretty eye looks with this. I'm going to do... A tutorial with this thumbs up if you want a tutorial with this but these are really nice colors and it's a really nice this is gonna be like an everyday palette too it's right on time for fall for sure though with these tones absolutely i love this i'm glad i got this. and this was like six dollars it was on sale for like six dollars and change less than seven dollars so hello y'all know y'all know i'm here for that okay okay <laughs> y'all already know something falling all right so the haul is going pretty good so far so everything so far i absolutely love 
the next product that I got was a bronzer. This is the packaging here. Okay, this is their, it says bronze dark. So that's the color that I got. And this is it in the packaging and it flips up, I believe. Yeah, it flips up and it has this nice long mirror that comes with it. I wish the eyeshadow palettes came with the mirror too, but they don't. But this is the dark bronzer duo. Look at this. I love like a reddish, um, like a reddish brown bronzer. Oh, a super warm bronzer is my thing. I love this. And I wanted a new bronzer anyway because I'm kind of like wearing out my makeup revolution. I still love it, but I just want to try different things and use different things here um, on my channel for you guys to try. So let's, ooh, yes. Let me do both swatches. This feels so silky. So these are the two colors. I really like this. I want to, let me grab a brush. Anyway, let me go into, let me grab the next thing, which is the main reason we're here. The main reason I even went on their website, which is for their, um, their eyebrow powder. So let me go ahead and grab that really quickly. All right, so now let's get into the brow stuff. So first up we have, it's called the Eye Sculpt Eye Shade. So this is what it looks like in the box. The color that I chose was a dark brown. So let's open that up and see what she's about. I love their packaging, so pretty. So this is it here in the packaging. Let's open her up. So this is the pen. So let's see how thin this is. Wow. This is nice. Girl, look how thin these lines are. Okay. So let me just draw a few lines so you guys can see what I mean. So look at my hands. I'm gonna wait for it to focus though, girl. Come on, focus, they trying to see it, the hell? Nah, this thing is like really playing me. There we are, there it goes, no, there it is. <laughs> there it is, so you see how thin um, of a line you can draw with this? I love this. So this is a pen. So with this, we can do like hair-like strokes. So I'm gonna try to use everything on camera just to see how it works. But that was the color uh, dark brown, which is a nice dark color for my, because my hair is a pretty dark. All right, so next we have, um, which is again the Eyescope Eyeshade line. And this is a brow gel. And I chose the color also dark brown in the brow gel. So let's see. So the brow gel, I guess it's like the little, the one that kind of looks like a mascara, but it's for your eyebrows. So this is it here. Nice brown and gold package. All right, so this is it on the wand. All right, so I can't wait to do my brows, girl. I'm gonna do it right here for you on the camera. So that's the gel. I also got the, also got the pencil. Here it is. In the pencil, I got Ebony, which is a darker shade, because they had quite a few. So this one is Ebony. I figured I can outline it with a little bit of a darker tone and then fill it in with like a lighter shade just to tone it down. So, so this is Ebony, and this is the pencil here. It's retractable, which is great. Actually, Ebony looks pretty close to dark brown. Look, I drew two lines here. So these are the two lines I drew with the the pencil and this is with the pen so the colors are pretty similar so that's fine so let's get into it let's try to start using this stuff i'm going to scoot in a little closer and fill in my brows so we can see how it works yeah don't mind the sound that you hear that my son is watching what he watching he watching something out there girl oh hey we are nice and close because we have to get into these brows i'm just going to brush them up a little bit like i said i didn't put anything in it except for the anastasia um the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I'm just trying to like brush it out a bit. I didn't put a lot of it because I knew I wanted to try the Juvia's Play stuff on camera, girl. So let's get into it. Let me put my hair on my face. In case you're wondering, the lip gloss that I have on is Topless by Sugar School Beauty Girl. They're restocked. They were sold out for a little while. Um, but I did make some more when I got my new packaging in the mail. And not, I mean, the packaging is the same. We now have boxes, like new uh, boxes. So, y'all try, you know, go ahead and try it out. Anyway, I swear I'm about to get into the brows right now. Perfect new gloss. Anyway, let's get into it. So, I brush out 
my hair. So we're gonna start with the pencil. Let me grab a mirror. Oh, the bronzer comes with the mirror, I can use that. So I'm gonna outline my brows and get into the next step with the other product. So first let's do that. So let's roll this up. I'm excited. Who doesn't love a good brow girl? So I'm gonna go ahead and trace, it's kinda hard with these lashes on, but I'm gonna go ahead and trace the brow or outline it. Oh yes. Can y'all see how thin this is? Hold on. Hopefully you can see it. Look at this, I drew this line. So I'm just gonna continue it here. This goes on so smooth. Uh, let me calm down, girl. And now I'm gonna do the top. Let me just brush these hairs down a little bit so we can do this part. Y'all, that is so nice. And honestly, these three steps, I probably wouldn't do these three steps every single time because, you know, you can do just a pencil one day or you can use just a brow gel. You can use just a pen. It kind of depends on your mood and or you can do all three if you want the like picture perfect brow. So let's do the next side. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. And I'm using a really light hand. This is really a really nice formula. Look at that line. Wow. So I'm just going to outline it with that. Normally, if I had just a pencil, I would use the pencil to fill it in, outline it, do all that. But because I brought all these products to try, we are, of course, going to try every single one. So now we're going to use the pen. And what the pen does is it draw it draws like hair like strokes. Now my brows you can see are pretty I don't know they're pretty full to me, but let me just use this. Let's just try to use it on camera. So if you have like thinner brows, you can see I'm just using this is just a spoolie just to brush them back up. And now I'm gonna try to use this to fill them in. Hold on, which is the pen. This here. So this just draws C hair like strokes. So this I'm doing. So if you have thinner brows, you can see that you can achieve a fuller brow with this pen and it looks, you know, natural. These lines right here are kind of thick for my liking, but I guess we can fix that. This is our first impressions. I have to use a lighter hand, which I'm doing here. And you can see how my brows look 3D right now, girl. All right, so let's do the other side. Feeling that tail. A lot of people have like a thinner tail here and this is a good product to kind of fill that in as natural as possible. I shouldn't have drew the line so at the beginning. This looks stupid, but now I know. I'm gonna fix it. Just keep it behind the thinner part. Keep it here. See, that looks much better. So let's see how we can fix this. Let's see if I can like brush it out a little bit with the spoolie. So this is the first impression, y'all, so, you know, bear with me. Okay, when you brush it, it softens it. See, because uh, this is a more harsh brow, and this is a more natural brow. And I don't like harsh brows, so let's try to, like, let's try to soften it up. Great. Great. That looks so good, y'all. So now, let's grab the, um the brow gel to set it. Okay, let's 
see what she found. Ooh. I like how feathered my brows look. So what do you guys think? I really like the way my brows look. Like brows just, they, my brows were pretty neat before, but now they look a little bit more bushy, um, but still neat and still, you know, precise, but they just look so much more vivid on the camera now that we added the product. So I really like the way this looks. This is a... This is really nice. Look at my hairs. It looks so natural. And we were able to, even though I had um, put too much here, I was able to like shear it out and it looks fine. Looks so good, girl. Let me back up a little bit. I want to know what you guys think about this. And let me know if you've tried this and how you like it. Or if you're interested in trying it, just click the links in the description. I'll make sure that I leave the link for everything that I, that I mentioned in this video. But I would give this these brow products a 10 out of 10. I definitely love them. Now, I probably won't use all three at the same time all the time. I may choose just use a pencil or the brow gel or the, the pen. It just kind of depends on the mood. Um, or I can use them all together when I want to be fancy. You know what I mean? But these are really great products and they're affordable. Y'all know how I feel about spending a lot of money on brows. I just don't because it's just like a pencil. It's just a pen. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I typically don't spend a lot of money on brows at all. So these are right up my alley. And they are still high quality. Juvia's Place, I've never been disappointed in anything from Juvia's Place except for the concealer. I don't really like the concealer. I mean, it looks pretty on camera, but it breaks up so bad. But that's the only thing that I've ever had an issue with. Their, their um, eyeshadows, their lipsticks, their, um, what else I've tried? The bronzer is really nice. So, and... They're, they don't really disappoint, except for the, the concealer. Like I said, I don't like that. I don't get any, like, complexion products from them. Because I, you know, I don't know. But everything else is a go for me. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, definitely leave them below. If you have any comments, drop me some comments. Just to drop me some comments, okay? If you like the video, let me know in the comments that you liked it. Be sure to actually thumbs up and like the video. And you got to subscribe and come back, okay? Thank you so much for watching, kitties. Bye. He called me Big Burr. Come make the... Y'all know I love you. I, I haven't gotten tired of you yet. Stop.